Right all, I thought to do a, like a video, do you know, see which I prefer of the cheese on wholemeal bread. Because the wholemeal bread is quite an healthy option. So as you can see here, I've got three different cheeses which I'm going to go through now in a minute. The all and brown bread. So I thought to do a little video because some of you might want to change from white bread to wholemeal bread. New Year. By the way, I've not started my diet yet. I did get a pizza yesterday. I was meant to review it, but I never did. But I do crave a pizza and some of these um, hot wings or whatever, hot strips. Anyway, I got this from Lidl's at, I think it was 45, 49 pence. You can see ya. It's just a simple range. You can freeze it. It's vegetarian, high in fibre. Each slice con uh, contains 81 calories, fat is 0.8, saturated is 0.1, sugar 0.8 and salt is 0.32. You can see it there. So yeah. Um, this says medium slices whole meal bread, which has got... We flour, soya, that's in, I mean, your wheat and soya is your bold ones, so as you can see there, don't know if you can see, the information if you really need it, this is at 800 grams, like I said, this was about 45, 49 pence or 47, one of them, this is from Lidl's, by the way. Then, also I got from Lidl's, I think. Was this from Lidl? Yeah, it's this This from Lidl's. This is the soft cheese vegetarian one. So it's full fat soft cheese. I think you can get it lower fat, but I couldn't see any. 200 grams original. This is supposed to be a copy of Philadelphia. It is really nice. I haven't really reviewed it, actually. Um, I do that another time. I did buy eventually buy some crackers, but it's all gone nearly so yeah. Um, this was I think just short of a pound, about ninety seven, ninety five pence, eighty five or something. I'm not that sure, but it is cheap. It's cheaper than Philadelphia. This is a two hundred gram. I said perfect. Uh, this is seventy two. Um, 72 calories the f the fat is two no 22.5 saturated is 15.7 carbohydrates is 3.0 sugar is 3.0 as well fiber is 0 0.5 protein is 5.5 and your salt is 0 0.68 and this was produced in DE, so is that Denmark? I'm not that sure. It says it there. Right. I don't know if it will. You might have to zoom in or somewhere. If I do it like that, sometimes it blurs. Anyway, I think that was about 90 odd pence from Lidl's. And then I still go on about Lidl's for a second. This is the Mad Gratitude, which I've reviewed already. I think it was Lidl's, not Aldi's. Um, this is Mild Cheddar... No, Mild Grated Cheddar Cheese. Cheddar Cheese with Milk and Potato Starch. So, your allergic is your milk in this. This packet contains 16 servings. So... I'm, I'm not going to keep on going through all the details. This was £2.80. If I leave it there, I think you might have to see. Do you want me to read them out? Right, per 100... This is by per 100 gram. No, I know, we'll go by the servings. 30 grams, basically. So I guess that's just 16 servings. So 30 gram is 125 um, um, calories 
if that is 10.3 your saturated is 6.4 carbohydrate is 0.5 sugar is 0.1 fiber is 0.5 protein 7.5 and soul is 0.53 Right, all darling grams by the way for your, for your 30 grams I do it one serving like that this is a 500 grams and this is by Lidl at £2.80 then um, Lidl do cheese slices I can't remember if you get 10 or 15 but these was 85 pence from Aldi yesterday these are suitable for vegan I mean vegetarian sorry so in these are just just cheese plastic slices or whatever you want to call them. So you got your milk. That's all it says. Just storage, keep in refrigerator, and use within seven days. But but don't um, listen to that. As long as they're wrapped up, you're okay, and the news by date. So I don't know what they're on about. 255 grams um, per 100 it says I don't know if this is going by slice or what no it just says per 100 but it should be going per slice ah oh, here per slice 51 calories your fat it's quite high this one fat is 4.3 Saturated is 2.0, sugar 0.9 and your salt is 0.28 as you can see. This is not artificial colours or flavouring, supported substantial palm oil. If that helps anyone, I've got no idea. Yeah, like I said, I think this was 85 pence. So which is good for 15 slices. So now we've got to do the important test test which one would i prefer in these cheeses so i start off with the grated cheese you can see here it's really suitable for brown bread and um, grated cheese like this cheddar cheese I've noticed sometimes on filling, I mean on brown bread for fillings, some of them don't go well with brown bread. I don't know if you lot notice that. Some of them are just suitable for your white bread. But your cheddar cheese, grated cheese like this is lovely on brown bread. Mm -hmm. Definitely enjoying that. Next one is the cheese slice. That's really nice as well. Mm. Both so good so far. Then this is your um, soft spread, which is like your Philadelphia. Oh, I think some of them use them triangles, don't they? The Derrily um, triangles for soft spread. That's really nice as well. Um, so which cheese I would pick for the brown bread which I like the most out of them I've got to say you grate a cheese this one well but they're all still nice but that goes perfect well with um, your brown bread I just want to do a video because um, I do need to get some more brown bread for my diet. This would need really eating today. And I've not really done my diet yet. So, yeah. I'm just trying my best to do the diet tomorrow. But it'll be any time very soon. I still need to get some ingredients anyway. So, yeah. I might go to Asda later on today. So, yeah. I just thought to do a, like, a healthier start for bread with your cheeses. So, yeah, I definitely would say, well, this is my favourite, yeah, my 
mild grated cheese um cheddar cheese should i say or them like like this but do you know the cheese slices might be nice but it, it's weird how sometimes grated tastes better than just uh um do you know like your block of cheese and you just slice it sometimes that cheese is nicer i've got no idea but that's how i prefer it so yeah i hope this has helped you out and i know it's a bit of a ram um random video anyway if you like it thumbs up comment will you try these cheeses on brown bread or do you think it's enough from you and you just stick to white bread with some of these has anyone got any more suggestion with the brown bread i've done it toasted which is really nice with butter on it's really nice um try to think what else with brown bread what what kind of fillings go well because i know sometimes white bread with some fillings is better where some brown bread don't go well with some fillings if you get what i mean so yeah so if you've got any recommendation with the filling with the brown bread please let me know i also like Parched egg with brown bread is quite nice. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it there now. So yeah. I hope to help you all out. And I hope you might swap from white bread to brown bread. To make a bit more healthier fibre in your diet. So yeah. So I'm going to leave it there now. If you like this content please give me a thumbs up. Comment like I said. And maybe consider subscribe if you're not done already. So I'm going to leave it there now. Take care. Bye.